<laughs> Singer Cass Elliott's ex fiance quizzed and released in Take Case. A former fiance of singer Mama Cass Elliott has been questioned about the tape murder case in Canada and released. Canadian authorities reported Thursday. But another man, also identified as a former fiance of the singer, is still wanted for questioning, Los Angeles police said. Miss Elliott was a friend of actress Sharon Tate and director Roman Polanski. Miss Tate and four other persons were slain early August 9th at the Tate Polanski home in Benedict Canyon. Canadian authorities later put out an all-points bulletin listing four men as suspects in the Tate case. Two of them Canadians who had, at the time, been identified as fiancés of the plump singer. Los Angeles police talked talked to one of the four men, then said he was being released and that the others were being sought only for questioning. On Thursday, a Los Angeles detective interviewed William Billy Doyle, 28, in Toronto, The Royal Canadian Mounted Police reported the RCM said that the LAPD officer told them that he was going to name to name no hold was placed on Doyle was going to go was going home. No hold was placed on Doyle. Sorry, it's really faintly printed. At police headquarters in Los Angeles, officers said they were still asking questions. uh, They were still seeking to question Harris P. Dawson. Right. And there is more to this. I'll just uh, get it open. That's too small to read. These are in my Facebook group if you're watching this and you're trying to uh, read along. And it's too small on the screen. You can actually find them in the Facebook group and on the subreddit now as well. Dawson, who had been described in Hollywood gossip columns as Miss Elliott's fiance before the before she announced that she and Doyle were engaged. At a party in May, she introduced Doyle as her fiance. Also present at the party were three of the five victims of the August 9th killing, Miss Tate, Wojtek Frakowski and Abigail Folger. Also, I'd never heard that as well. They were all at the party where it was announced she was engaged to Billy Doyle. Miss Elliot, formerly a member of the Mamas and Papas singing group, was divorced earlier this year and has not remained and has not remarried. Billy Doyle and I were engaged once, Miss Elliot told a reporter Thursday night. I've known him for a long time and he's a fine person. The other two men named the RCMP broadcast named in the RCMP broadcast are Thomas Michael Harrigan and Charles Tacott. It was Harrigan who came to to Los Angeles police while he was being sought in in Canada and offered alibis for all four men. He said that he had been at a party 20 miles from the Tate home the night of the slayings, that Doyle and Tacot were in Jamaica, and that Dawson was working as a truck driver in New York State. C.R. Dewey, superintendent of the RCMP's criminal investigation branch in Toronto, said that his officers, acting on a Los Angeles request, had first interrogated Doyle on his return to Toronto from Jamaica. Dawson was described by Harrigan as the son of an American diplomat. The State Department in Washington said that Harrison P. Dawson, whose son Harris was born in 1943, is now a supervisory commercial officer in Bonn, West Germany. Police said that there were no charges against Dawson and that he was only being sought for questioning. They would give no reason why he was wanted and added that he no longer wished to talk to Tackott. Friends of Rakowski informed police that he had told them he had, he, had, he had to meet the two Canadians arriving at International Airport August 6th, and the four were apparently sought as police uh, as police began questioning all known Canadian contacts of Frakowski. Detectives have been known to be delving into Frakowski's contacts in the narcotics underworld, and there were reports that he received some drugs from Canada. Friend said he used marijuana, mescaline, and cocaine, and that he had just before he died that he was on five to thirteen that he was on a five to thirteen day trip with mescaline. I was in a Hollywood after hours place five days before the murders, said Hollywood writer Steve Brandt, and Frakowski and Gibby Folger joined me. Frakowski's eyes were uh, unfocused and staring. He looked like something from the movie The Village of the Damned. I said to Wojtek, "Are you on something?" He said, yes, it's the great mescaline. Want to buy some? And he spoke of some new drug he was getting. 
something called fairy dust. I told him, I passed, uh, I passed Wojtek. I never did find out what fairy dust was. But former Take Case suspect quizzed on East Coast cleared. And this is from September 1969. It's hard to see what the date says on it because it's like really faintly stamped. A fourth man, once listed in a Canadian all points bulletin as a suspect in the Tate murder case, has been questioned and cleared. It was learned on Sunday. Quizzed by Los Angeles officers in Washington, D.C., was Harris Pickens Dawson, 24, son of a U.S. Diplomatic, diplomatic aide. Los Angeles Police Headquarters was still describing Dawson as wanted for questioning Friday when it was learned an LAPD detective already had interviewed him. Dawson once identified Hollywood gossip columns uh, once identified in Hollywood gossip columns as the fiance of singer Mama Cass Elliot, voluntarily told the LAPD what he knew of the Tate case. It was learned no hold of any kind was placed on him with authorities in Washington. Los Angeles officers quest questioned and cleared William Billy Doyle, uh, also a one-time fiancé of Miss Elliot, in Toronto Friday. Once listed as suspects, Doyle, Dawson, Thomas Harrigan and Charles Tackle were listed earlier this month as murder suspects in an all-points bulletin the Royal Canadian Mounted Police said it put out at, at the request of the LAPD. Los Angeles police later said they were wanted only for questioning. One of the four, Harrigan, heard of the Canadian broadcast and walked into the police administration building here while the mounted police were still seeking him in Canada. He offered alibis for all four. He said he had been at a party 20 miles from the scene at the time of the killings, and Doyle and Tackett were in Jamaica and that Dawson was in New York. Actress Sharon Tate, Abigail Folger, Wojtek Frakowski, Jay Sebring and Stephen Parent were stabbed or shot to death early August 9th at the home of Miss Tate and director Roman Polanski in Benedict Canyon. Acquaintances of Frakowski, a Polish emigre, uh, with Miss Folger, who with Miss Folger ha had been staying at the Polanski Tate home while the Polanskis were in Europe. They stayed on after Miss Tate returned from Europe in July. Polanski was in London at the time of the murders. He returned here for the funeral of his wife, then went to Bermuda to view locations for a forthcoming film. He is now in New York City, where he remains in seclusion. He has been seen in public rarely, dining with old friends such as actor Warren Beatty in an out-of-the-way restaurant. Dawson's father, a State Department career man, was most recently assigned as a supervisory commercial officer in the U.S. Embassy in Bonn. All four men listed in the original Canadian broadcast have now been questioned and released, leaving the police without listed suspects in the complex case. 